Hey, it's Bill and Susan looking for soul food in the hood at the Forestville Center Mall. Grab some wet naps as we visit Ella Ray's Cafe on What I Ate. Ella Ray's Cafe is situated near one of the entrances to the Forestville Center Mall, about five minutes from Washington, D.C. The mall in general area had its economical heyday decades ago, but you can still find some local soul food gems like Ella Ray's Cafe. Okay, we'll move that to the side. You can keep the tray. <clears throat> Ooh, that's my oxtail. Okay. I think you're missing your knees then. Yeah. yeah. to try the mac and cheese first. Mm, nice roasty top. Wow, it's piping hot. I don't know if you can see the steam. Oh, this is good. Nothing beats fresh mac and cheese. Yeah, it's um, just after the noon hour here on a Sunday. And they opened at noon, so yeah, this is fresh. Those collard greens. This is the first time I taste a hint of sweetness with it. Right? There's some chili pepper in it, and yeah, I, if this were nearer to me, I'd come back for this every day. Oh, look at that gelatinous pig feet. I'm just poking it with a fork and it's just coming apart. Beautiful collagen. Dip it in a bit of vinegar. That might be a little too much vinegar. And this is some hot sauce. Is it already cooked in a vinegar or is it? Mm -hmm. Maybe some vinegar in the cooking broth, but this is excellent. Nice, yummy. I would even eat this over the Chinese style. Mm. Most definitely this would give the Chinese style a run for its money. Very good. When the cafe opens on a Sunday, it happens to be right after the local church services are done. During the rush, you might have some items in your order missing. They forgot my order of lima beans, but we just went back to the counter and they courteously completed my order. Mmm, mmm. As you would later see, I really enjoyed this baked macaroni and cheese with a buttery crumb topping. The oxtails were covered in a delicious gravy that was drenched into the rice below it. In hindsight, I probably would have asked them to go easy on the gravy, 
as it was a little too soupy for me. These are nice, meaty oxtails. They're not cut thin, they're, but they're cut. Mm. Yeah, that's really melting your mouth. It's almost fall off the bone. Nice and collagen-y. Really nice flavor. The gravy is really phenomenal. I wish they had black pepper. <laughs> I didn't see any black pepper here. But it's served on a bed of rice just covered with gravy. I got the mac I got the mac and cheese as a side. That's a really good mac and cheese. It's, uh, the noodles are very, very tender and soft. Um, it's really nice and cheesy. And uh, it's got some, it's not quite a cheese sauce. It's like they, they just took cheese and macaroni. Maybe a little bit of uh, bechamel to hold it together but it's all nice and melty. This is the kind of food that touches your soul. I'm going to give these uh, beans a try. Nice. There's a little bit of zestiness in there, something acidic. Um, they've been cooked a long time, probably with a pork cock or something like that. Not very spicy. This would go perfect on just plain white rice. I, I could eat the, the lima beans as an entree by itself. Here I was able to get a nice piece of oxtail. Like I say, they're very meaty, so I, I, you can actually eat them a little, start them off with a knife, knife and fork before you go into the bone. Mm. That is really good. I'm glad I picked this. I, I had a toss-up between this and the short ribs. I'm sure the short ribs are great too after tasting the oxtail. So here's uh, some of the rice with the, uh, the gravy. Rice is a little hard for my taste, but still good. Mm. Okay, Susan's pushing me to try some of the pig, pig foot here. Nice jiggly piece. I like pig feet, but they're a lot of work. Oh, that's good. That's a nice sticky mess. <laughs> Very collagen-y collagen and sticky. And, it's got oh. to the point where the pig feet almost melts. Yeah. I wish they had more rice with it. Actually, did you no. get rice with no, it? No, there's no rice with it. Huh? You're supposed to get rice with it, but okay. I'm 
going to give you a, a nice uh, oxtail. I was able to just pull this off with my fork, no knife needed. And it pulls off so easily, just like this has been cooking all night. I have no idea how long they cook it, but this is fantastic. And that's the oxtail. <coughs> They say we should stop eating so much more. A little so bit of a lemon chip, but that process. flavor. Because we are crazy. Mm -hmm. And possibly, we're solving the problem with more meat. Look at You barely have to chew. Yeah. Everything's so tender. Everything here is just so full of flavor. And actually, there's a very mild underlying tone of heat there. Just just a little bit. It's not super spicy. For that, I think I'm going to need a little cornbread here. Mm. Nice, fluffy cornbread. It's not too sweet. is perfect with this meal. I think we're gonna continue on and uh, finish this up because this is a one of those meals that's a little bit sloppy. But while we're eating, remember to hit that subscribe button. Okay, so Susan's always pushing me to eat greens, so I'm gonna try these collards. Oh, that is sweet. That's uh, nice. It reminds me of a uh, that guy out out in uh, Aldi, Virginia, who has the uh, barbecue truck on the side of the road. Yeah, except that you know, he has a brick and mortar. We have to visit one day. Okay. Yeah, I think his secret ingredient for his collards was pineapple juice. <laughs> And that's what he did to, to sweeten it up. I don't taste pineapple juice in there, but there is something, something they added to it to, to make it sweet. It's very good. Okay, going in for a taste of the lima beans. Right now it looks like a lima bean stew. Oh, that is meltingly tender. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. You could just eat this with rice and be satisfied for the day. Yeah, if, if I wanted to make it into like a, a an entree or a dinner, I would just add maybe some ham to it or yeah. or bacon, and it would just be a complete meal. Yeah, I think I had a, a vegan friend tell me that, you know, rice and beans makes a complete protein, but only if you add a little bit of meat protein into it. You gotta be careful with some of the bone shards in here. Getting all those nice gummy cartilagey bits in between the joints. There's no dainty way to eat oxtail. You gotta really go in with your hands. First try of this strawberry lemon cake. 
Okay, it cuts very nicely. Nice and moist. You can see the crumb on that. Very moist. It looks light, but it's a little denser than it looks. Definitely very moist because how it, it cutting cream and you can see I'm going to take a little bit of a corner here. It doesn't leave any crumbs behind. Maybe a lot of butter in there. It could be. I taste sweet, but I don't taste a whole lot of strawberry or lemon. Mm. Give it a try. Okay. Okay, trying a piece of this cake. White buttercream icing. The lemony part, just a slight hint of lemon. I'm gonna try just a strawberry piece. Strawberry. Nice. Yeah, I think there's a lot of butter or oil or something that keeps the cake together. It's a huge piece. It's, it's definitely something you share. I wish maybe maybe good with a cup of coffee. Mm. It's very sweet. After our meal, we walked around the mall, but didn't go far before we discovered Heaven's Bakery, which had a lot of baked goods and some huge turnovers. Okay, I'm gonna take a look at this huge apple turnover. Look at how big this apple turnover is from Heaven's Bakery. I wasn't gonna eat it until later, but I'm gonna take a little bite right now. Actually, that one's too doughy. Mm, nice, flaky. It's, yeah, it is as big as your head. It's a good pastry. <laughs> This is a two-handed apple turnover. And it's like, I think it was like $4.50 over here at Heaven's Bakery at the Forestville Center. Mm -hmm.